I'll introduce the paper submitted to Emeta. The title is Clostridium butyricum and carbohydrate active enzymes contribute to the reduced fat deposition in pigs. As we all know, overweight and obesity are defined as abnormal or excessive fat accumulation that presents a risk to health. Similarity in livestock and poultry, fat deposition will also affect production performance, meat quality, reproductive performance and health status. Intestinal microbiota is closely related to host energy balance and metabolism, serve as important regulators of lipid metabolism and plays a key role in the regulation of lipid accumulation. For example, intestinal probiotics can lower cholesterol by producing metabolites, mainly short-chain fatty acids and secondary bile acids. In our study, three animal trails were included in this study. Animal Trail 1 to explore the correlation between the gut microbiome and pig fatness. Animal Trail 2, to validate the roles of isolated C. butyricum in fat accumulation in high fat diet induced obese mice. And Animal Trail 3, to validate roles of C. butyricum in pig fatness. Firstly, we use the lean meat percentage as an index to divide 14 pigs into high and low fatness groups. Next, the 16S results of PCA showed significant differences in bacterial communities. For short-chain fatty acid levels, greater concentrations of acetate, propionate, butyrate, and isobutyrate were found in the colon of the L group, and a notable difference emerged in the levels of BUC and PTB in the L group, particularly in the colon. We then generated a total of 1,288 bacterial genomes by metagenomic sequence. As the results showed, the mags enriched in the L group were mostly assigned to firmicutes. Conversely, the mags identified as bacteroidetes were more abundant in the H group. For the functional profiling of the gut microbiome related to fatness based on metagenomic sequencing, we found that those L-group enriched pathways were negatively correlated with body weight, average back fat thickness, and liver fat, but positively associated with ribeye area and SCFA levels. Most importantly, the metagenome sequencing data indicated a higher abundance of these genes in the L-group, including the fermentation pathway responsible for metabolizing sucrose into acetate, butyrate, and propionate. Next, we compared the Kazimis genes encoded by the gut microbiome in pigs. The results showed that the L group exhibited a lower diversity of Kazimis than the H group. The L group displayed significantly lower abundances of genes encoding GHs and PLs, while exhibiting higher levels of AAs, SLHs. We next tried to explore the whether the changes of Kazimis linked to SCFA production and fatness traits in pigs, and found that the casemes enriched in the L group showed a positive correlation with SCFA production, while exhibiting a negative correlation with average back fat thickness and liver fat. Most importantly, among the differentially enriched mags, we identifying a significant change of C. butyricum in pigs with low fatness and its association with casemes. Further, Mouse intervention study confirmed that C. butyricum significantly decreased body fat accumulation, including epididymal, mesenteric, visceral, and subcutaneous fat, and also downregulated the expression of lipogenesis genes. Moreover, isolated C. butyricum increased the enrichment of GH13 in obese mice and increased the abundance of C. butyricum. Finally, pigs fed C. butyricum had a significant increase in ribeye area and lower average back fat thickness and liver fat. Importantly, the abundance of Clostridium sensu stricto 1 was significantly increased after C. butyricum treatments, which was similar to the trends in the lower fatness Jinhua pigs. In conclusion, our study found Clostridium butyricum might be a representative bacterial species from Jinhua pigs with lower fatness, an isolated C. butyricum alleviated fat accumulation in Jinhua pigs and obese mice. These results help to explore probiotic resources and lay a theoretical foundation for lipid metabolism-related research. Thanks, Amita, and thanks all.